That's yeah. cool. You gotta get the, the pericos and shit when they're here. Thingy. Oh yeah? Where they at? I'm trying to see them pericos right now. This is a nice little view though, I ain't gonna lie dog. I like this shit, especially with this hammock. This is a comfortable ass hammock. Creo que te deseda, right? That good shit, yo. Come on. So, you don't care. Got it. As soon as you walk into the residential, you see you got the little store right there. Got the bakery right here to the left. Fresh bread, however you're trying to act. They got the cheese right there, too. Um, I don't know what else. They got a little bit of everything. I'm going to give you a little tour of a private residential community here in uh, El Salvador. Just made it to the other corner. Just wanted to show y'all. There goes the entrance right there. Another store right here. Because I think there's like about 10 stores out here. They got a dental office right there. No construction right there. Shit don't stop. You got a park right there. With a basketball court, soccer court, skate park, all of that. You got another store. That's a bigger store right there though. You got a pre-K school, pre-K school. Oh, you know, you know what? The, that was a medical office over there. They got the dental office down there and the hair salon. Nina's. Ain't nobody in there though. Shorty just in there doing what it do. I'm not gonna go too deep in this, but I just wanted to give y'all a little brief tour of where we at. You know, it's nothing. Just another, another day in the neighborhood. It's nice, peaceful, and quiet out here. All you hear is the birds chirping. It's about, I think it's like about 3 p.m. right now. No, it's like about 2.30. So, a lot of people at work. You get beautiful views all around. You see that? It's beautiful out here, man. I love it out here. And the weather, don't, don't get me started. I think it's like a total of uh, like 660. 670 houses so it's definitely a, a um, you know it's a it's a residential community you got um zebra cafes you got stores you got pupuserias you got little restaurants you got school supply store like you got a retailer's office um you got a little park right there they have events you can go uh, play soccer there, football, all of that. It's a pretty big park with a nice view. And you also got a community within the community. Straight like that. You know what I mean? Shit nice though, man. So this is it. This is what it is. Here on the other corner, as you see, they got a little pupusa spot. They sell ice creams there, all of that. All the way at the far end, that's the entrance. Entrance, and uh, they be selling food right here. They got little comedores um, where you buy food. They make uh, during the during lunchtime, and then they make uh, pupusas usually at nighttime. You know, that's this is the second part. It looks very similar to the first one. But this is actually the, uh, well, this is the second park. And then the, over there is the field. So you can say there's, there's three parks. This is where it's at. It's beautiful out here. And just so for anybody that, you know, is curious, houses out here, I think the starting price line is about 100000 So that's what it is. And they go up to it depending on the amenities and the features, all that good stuff. 
they could probably go all the way up to 175, maybe even two. But uh, it all depends. Because I, I know there's like a house over here that has a swimming pool. Uh, it's, it's super huge. I think it's like the biggest house on the block, or at least in the neighborhood. I definitely cannot deny that it is a beautiful day. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's beautiful out here, man. Look at that. One way in, one way out. Bruno! Fuck you doing over there, boy? This is the first park right here. Shit cool. Ain't nobody out here. This is early afternoon right now. Bruno! Fuck you doing right there, boy? Better get your ass in the house, boy. Come here, boy. Yo, Bruno! They got another little store right there. I'm about to go get me a little beer. Kind of thirsty. You know? Got the basketball court. I've never even actually used this court. But yeah, you could just come on here and relax. Roll something up. Drink something up. Whatever. You the boss, Applesauce. Beautiful, man. It's beautiful. I'm not gonna go, you know, and, and go in every, you know, pasaje. It's like, I don't know how many pasajes it is. I just don't wanna make nobody uncomfortable. Be going into these dead end pasajes and, and recording. You gotta have some type of respect. It's certainly, it's beautiful out here. You see this nice little park, nobody out here, you know? Cause it's early, it's not hot, but mostly everyone's at school, working, or whatever the case may be. You see? We got a little slide. I don't know, this shit pure cement. I don't know how the hell the kids supposed to slide. I don't know what the hell. Pure concrete. Beautiful though, man. Got the worker right there watering the plants. He doing his thing. Jamming to some music while he work. Shit, I ain't mad at him. Este es una área restringida. It's a restricted area. But you know your boy. Make shit happen. Everything got a price in this life. I'm gonna go up there right quick just to show y'all the view. You know? As you see, this is supposed to be just for the watch guards, the watch tower. But I don't care. See Santa Tecla, Santa Elena, maybe some parts of San Salvador, and the whole neighborhood. Well, at least a good 75% of it. This shit is real. I love this. There's moments that I've come out here and like watch the sunrise about 5:45 in the morning. It's beautiful. Beautiful. See that? No, yeah, I can see the. This is. Whew. So are we living? 
at one time all this residential i think it was just like for real for the most part all santa tecla was a finca at one time i think it was owned by some spaniard and i think he sold it or gave it to the government most likely he sold it and um what became known as San nueva san salvador is now santa tecla well, as the story goes but yeah it's beautiful you come out here and you see them possums walking around stuff like that you see that people throwing away stuff one thing i will ask from everybody right or be the change you inspire to see in the world so if you come out here and you see people throwing away stuff into the streets please don't do that please don't do that because that's it is contagious and it can get contagious because i remember when i first came you know like i just inconscientemente like non-consciously i would just do it but then i was like you know what i came to grips with myself and i said you know what i can't i, I want better for my country you know there's a slogan that says here in santa tecla that if you throw away the trash into the street para donde va santa tecla so you know that i, I definitely uh, i would suggest you know and, and tip of suggestion to please you know whenever you go out and you out and about and you buy something on the street you know just put it in your pocket or put it in your car and just throw it away at the closest trash can because um certainly we, we want better for our country or at least i do and that's nice right there i would love that you see that the hammock the guy has that little thing on the top he got the hammocks hanging right there you can have a nice barbecue out there nice old big area people terraza that's beautiful man that's beautiful so this is what it is it's just another beautiful day in the neighborhood I'm about to go down though But yeah, this 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 the biggest house that I was talking about. This right here, you see that? It's just a big corner house right there. Let me give y'all a little tour through this. Uh, this is the first part technically. They even got a uh, wheelchair accessible, so handicap friendly. It's nice. You see. A little skate park so it was definitely nice you could definitely uh just come out here and kick it they enjoying the afternoon why not look at that gotta enjoy the afternoon it's a beautiful day why not? Hello, buenas tardes. So, you know, just another day in the neighborhood. This is what we're doing. I just want to show you what it is you get nice beautiful views everywhere out here no matter where you at that's the little soccer I mean you want to play on that concrete floor you got the soccer, you can play soccer right there or you can go over there to the other field where I stayed it and you play on the grass. But yeah, this is it. You know, just to give you an idea of uh, the type of housing that we have out here in, um, in El Salvador. It's beautiful, you know, it's definitely beautiful. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. What can we say? We try and get it one day at a time.
I see over there. I believe those are condominiums. Probably worth like a quick 150, 125,000. I'm just assuming though. I'm just assuming based on the area. I'm just giving ballpark figures. So I was here uh, casually filming in the neighborhood so y'all can get a chance. And um, some of my neighbors here from the neighborhood uh, volunteer, or at least one of them, she volunteered to uh, give her opinion on, um, on what, what it's like living out here. So that way uh, you don't take my word for it and anybody else's word for it. That way um, she'll tell you herself. I ain't making this up. This is real. Entonces? ¿Qué tal? Bien. Estamos aquí disfrutando de una bella tarde aquí en Santa Tecla. Eh, no he dicho la residencial donde estamos, pero estamos en una residencial privada. Y me encontré con unas vecinas aquí que están aquí compartiendo. No sé, están aquí un rato. Y entonces, eh, tú, se me olvida tu nombre, no se me queda, tu no se me queda, pero es un nombre bien bonito, bonito. ¿Cómo Saade. es? Saade. Sí. Ok, Saade. Eh, ¿Cuánto tiempo tú llevas de estar viviendo en esta residencial? Pues llevo 15 años ya aquí viviendo en la residencial. ¿Y qué te parece tú? Pues Sobre es muy todo. bonito, la verdad, posee dos parques, un mirador y pues se disfruta bastante de lo que es el ambiente, tanto de la colonia como este parque que es donde nos encontramos ahora, que tiene una rampa para que la gente patine, eh, aquí pueden venir a correr, pueden venir a caminar, eh, también eh, disfrutar un momento familiar y también está el otro parque que ya ahí es como un poco más recreativo para los niños donde están eh, los juegos eh, infantiles como lo que son los columpios, los toboganes, etcétera, y también hay canchas de fútbol y de básquetbol. Y pues por tercero tenemos lo que es el mirador, que eh, prácticamente tiene una zona en la que se puede ver toda la ciudad completa y está cerca de Santa Mónica. Sí, el, el, el Casa Club. Sí, la Casa Club. Esa casa Club que se, te pueden ahí celebrar. Eh, a... Sí, ahí pueden realizar eventos, ya sea de cumpleaños. Eh, algún festival para alguna persona o reuniones familiares, reencuentros de jóvenes, etc. Está bien, perfecto. Y, y sobre todo, ¿qué tú piensas? De, tú, entonces, todo este tiempo que tú llevas viviendo aquí, obviamente has vivido aquí en Santa Tecla y, con, y estudiado, todo eso. Y, ¿Y Santa Tecla qué te parece en general? Pues para mí Santa Tecla es una de las mejores ciudades de El Salvador, ya que tiene bastante seguridad. Eh, es una de las ciudades más limpias, por decirlo así. Y también tiene bastantes lugares llamativos y más que todo lo que es el Paseo del Carmen que se encuentra aquí en Santa Tecla. Bueno, muchas gracias por tu tiempo, uh, Saí. Saade. Saade, sí. Saade, Saade, Saade. Pero me gusta ese nombre bastante, es un nombre único. ¿Y ¿Ustedes están gozando ahí o qué? Sí. sí. Está súper chido. Está bueno. La vale. es muy buena. Tú vives acá también, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, sí. No. Es súper cool. Venir todos. No, claro, claro, en general que vengan a El Salvador. Sí. En la colonia, obviamente, si no conocen a nadie, pueden venir a conocer, ¿verdad? Pero en general que vengan a El Salvador y disfrutar y compartir con sus familiares y todos y, y nuestros bellas cosas que podemos ofrecer, sí, no solo. Supuesto. Claro que sí. It's a beautiful day, yo. Every day above ground is a great day. I don't care if it's raining, snowing, anything. I don't care. You gotta be grateful. People working, trying to get that money. Look at that, going hard. About to build a whole nother house right there. It's the same house though. People chilling, hanging out. You know? That's another residential right there. It's not as big as this one, but it's private as well.
Who know you? What's up, boy? Come here, boy. What's up, boy? How you been, bro? How you been, bro? How you been, Bruno? How you been, bro? Sí, es que vine a comprarme una cerveza. Pero. Entonces, como le digo, yo, yo comparto ahí videos. Usted. Sí. ¿Está bien o no? No, pues para mí, es pues, para compartir con, ¿me entiende? Con, con mis seres queridos que aquí estamos viviendo, pues. A pesar de lo que dice la gente, que todas cosas malas, solo cosas malas. Entonces. No, sí, sí, sí. sí. ¿Cuánto es? Uh -huh. ¿Cuánto es? Sí, pero, pero usted sabe que la vida aquí es una y la vida afuera es otra, usted sabe. Pero siempre y cuando se encomienda en Dios uno, no hay ningún problema. Muchas gracias. Tío. Hasta luego, Arecelo. Mire, Bruno, qué vida la de Bruno. Ah, ¿sabes qué? Me la puedes destapar. Me la voy a tomar ahí parquecito, porque está haciendo algo de calor. Pero está bueno, pues. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Feliz día. I'm about to have me a little cold beer. It's all I drink, Primus. I drink Pilsner only if it's ice cold. But other than that, I drink Supremo. Salvadorian beer right here. Salvadorian pride. I try to... I try to make my best effort to spend my uh, money locally so that I can spread the wealth within my community. I mean, given the chance that I have, that I can and, I, and that I can't do that. I try, I try. I don't try to, you know, spend my money with those big retailers or anything like that because only God knows where that money going to. Overseas and some accounts or whatever the case may be. So I try to help out the local economy so I can spread the wealth, but I just don't want to drink this cold beer. Ah, man. Just enjoy this great idea. I just thank everybody for watching, regardless, you know, if, even if you don't subscribe, even if, even if you don't like, dislike, I don't care. Just, I thank y'all for your time. Um, I just, you know, I, I record this content uh, for the people. I mean, the reason why I created this channel, right? I mean, I don't do this for me. I mean, I'm gonna live my life regardless, regardless, you know. What I got, I'm gonna do what I gotta do. But the point is this, is that I made this channel because I got fed up. I truly got fed up of all the negativity that surrounds El Salvador and the Northern Triangle, which is considered the most dangerous corner. Um, currently not at war. So I got fed up of all the negative press, uh, media, you know, that's all they do. So I got fed up. That's the reason why I created this channel. I created this channel to um, show another side of El Salvador, a side that many people, even tourists, uh, don't get to see. And, and, and besides that, even bigger than that, people that don't, that lived here and are living here their whole life, you know, uh, there's experiences that they haven't even experienced that, that they experienced through my videos. So this is who I made that for. I made this for y'all. You know, this ain't for me. I don't, I don't need no type of validation. Nothing like that. I just made this to share my experiences and to show how beautiful my country and my people are. That's the reason why I made it. You know, uh, we can't be ostracized based on 10% of the population that's causing some of these mischievous things. So that's what it is. So that's all I wanted to uh, stay to y'all. Hope y'all enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Have a great week. Pero tengo otro que está más viejito todavía. Ya no más acá. ¿Cómo no? Pero lo saco más a él. Eso es lo que más le llega. Eso es lo que más le gusta. Sí, en aquellos perritos viejos, esa vez que a salir es el despavil, pues. Salen a voler miados, salen a voler miados. Eso es lo que le gusta. Pues sí, pues, y se despabilan, pues. Drama y por eso yo no felicito a marihuana
Sin hacerme yo no quiero fama. Oh.